Wait, is it dead? Oh no, oh no. Good morning, people. I mean, good afternoon. Yeah, so today we've got a package over here. And I mean, it's kind of obvious, right? If we've got a package. And no, it's not my Christmas present. I don't know why he used this wrapping paper. It's not Christmas yet, but yeah, let's just get this open and we will show you what we've got. I mean, I will show you what we've got in here. Since this one is taped up quite a bit, I'm gonna have to use a scissors to snip off the tape because I'm a pretty mainstream guy. Gotta use scissors, man. I'm rushing to open this package because this package actually arrived yesterday, but I wasn't around. I was kind of like, I was, yeah, out of the state doing something. So I just got back today and just collected the package. Gonna have to open this as quickly as possible. Although tarantulas, they can live in the box for about a week if packed properly, but still, you don't want them to be in the box for too long so let me get this open as quick as possible just like that <laughs> i just have to open this lid thing so yeah let's get this Ooh. okay so now wait there's nothing in here right did you give me a christmas present nope it did not give me a christmas present and i am disappointed so yeah this is i mean it's considered no it's not christmas no it cannot be considered my christmas present because it's not even christmas yet we don't need this all kind of junk kind of thing yeah just yeah stay there so now we're gonna have to open this give it a snip you yeah. a little tarantula burger in here we have the all familiar you know what i don't think you guys want to see all this familiar stuff because you've already seen me unbox quite a few teas in this kind of packaging so let me just get this okay never mind i thought i would say i'll get this open and then resume the video but it's already opened okay so what we've got here is six H. Villocella. So this is the Tanzanian chestnut baboon, I believe. It's a small baboon species. It's not as big as like the OBT or the king baboon. Yeah, those guys are really massive baboons. But these guys are... Wait, why is my phone like so bright? Yeah, these guys are like really small. I think their maximum size is like three inches. I'm not quite sure what the H stands for. I can't remember the genus. Villocella. There we go. It's a communal tarantula. And then, oh, Hetherotelli. Yep, that's it. Heterotelli. Okay, so we've got six Heterotelli, Heterotelli, I'm not sure how you pronounce that, Heterotelli, Villocella, and since they are communal, yes, they are communal, I mean, uh, why, why did I just repeat that? <laughs> so, yeah, now trying to open this, we will get them rehoused into an enclosure that I have prepared over here. So, first things first, we're gonna have to check how they are. Oh, looks like they are doing how are you guys see this one in molten why would you sell me teas that are in primo uh yeah hopefully they're all fine this looks like all of them molten like what that one molten as well over here see there's a molt over there um this one hmm wait wait is it dead i'm not sure let me just okay this one's alive for sure this one is alive and this one are you alive man yeah it lo looks like this one is oh no oh no whoa whoa is this my first oh my god oh my god this one's dead you guys it is dead wow <sighs> wow okay now this has nothing to do with me collecting it another day after because all of these are still fine even those who molted just recently molted they're doing pretty fine but this guy it must have been like I have no clue, man. It looks like it's all squished in there. Wait, let me... Yep, got the lights on. You can see it's pretty... Let me focus. Yeah, it's squished over there. You see the liquid? Abdomen liquid? Yeah, that is not... Hmm. It's not exactly what I was hoping to see. It looks like this guy just molted because you can see it is really white. Its fangs aren't even black yet. I mean, they're not fully black. Um, and their body, I mean, its body is still pretty soft and oh man that's no good hmm rest in peace buddy rest in peace although i mean we've got four over here i mean we've got five over here which hopefully they're they're doing okay because i don't want this to happen and the thing is i never really realized that they were i never really expected not realized that they were this small so yeah i kind of prepared a freakishly massive enclosure <laughs> but i think it'll do i mean they're communal and i don't want them to like get a enclosure that is too small and they start cannibalizing each other and the holes over here are not too big 
they cannot come out. So basically, this container, this is a cookie jar that I went to my kitchen and I opened the cabinet and I found I was looking for containers. So I saw this. I'm like, yep, I think that's a perfect size. So I took that and then I went to my mom's room and shh, don't tell her. I stole her sewing needle. Yeah, because I couldn't find anything that I could use to stab holes. So I took a needle, <laughs> lighted it up with my flamethrower thing of a bob and just started stabbing holes in this thing. So yeah, it took me about five minutes to stab all of these because every time I light one, I could probably stab at the most like three holes. So yeah, it took quite a while to have a lot of cross ventilation, but you know, slow and steady wins the race. So yeah, let me get these guys into here. You know what? I don't want to... <sighs> After seeing this guy over here, I don't want to like try to harm these guys. I mean, of course, I'm not going to try to harm these guys. I don't want to harm these guys. So what I'm going to be doing is opening it and uh, there we go. You can see it right there. Hopefully, they'll do fine. I mean, I will put... Oh yeah, before I put it in, I did not mention what is in this thing. So basically, I took some damp coconut fiber because these guys are slings. And as slings, you want to give them damp substrate kind of damp not to the point where you can squeeze water out damp to the point where they will not dehydrate yeah they will not dehydrate because slings they're tiny they dehydrate super 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 quickly so yeah damp substrate down there some plastic plants because these guys they're pretty heavy webbers i would say they like to web around so i've put that little grass that that plastic plant in there and then i put this cork bark thingy which used to house my male avicularia no not avicularia carry banner versicolor which passed away Way due to being a mature male and then I put in some moss because that will allow the teas to like sort of make tunnels and because you know coconut fiber they don't exactly hold burrows the best so yeah basically what I'm gonna be doing is just putting these guys individually like this and letting them crawl out by themselves because I don't want to risk like prodding them out because after seeing this guy over here <sighs> yeah I don't want that to happen to the rest. So, oof, open. Wow, this thing is like super hard. What the hell? Oh, there we go. Okay, so these guys, like I mentioned, I think they get only about three inches. So this, yeah, it's not going to be the permanent enclosure. It's going to be that temporary, temporary enclosure till they get about an inch or so. And then I'll move them to a glass aquarium, which will hold them much better. Okay, this one, man, these things are super hard to open. Yep, as you can see, this one molted. Wait, let it focus. There we go. Yeah, fine. It doesn't want to focus. Ah, <sighs> phones. This is what happens when you're ready. There we go. <laughs> There's a molt. It molted in here successfully without dying. So this one can go over here. You. Okay, stay there. And then we've got one, two, three, four, five. Yeah sad um this one let me get this opened as well bear with me guys i'm a little bit slow today there we go don't want to mess with these guys after they just molted because you guys know what happens when you mess with molted tarantulas they have the potential to yep die exactly <laughs> okay there we go that's the other one over there and then last but not least i mean that could have been the last but not least but <sighs> yeah whatever this one Yep, this one's healthy. I think this one looks the healthiest. It appears to be the healthiest. Like, look at that. It did not molt. I think this one will be the survivor. I hope these guys are also the survivors. But, I mean, I think they sh they all should be survivors. There we go. You can see it there. Finally, my phone focuses a little bit. Not, like, focusing a lot. But, I mean, it works. <laughs> okay, last one goes over here. Now, the thing is, if I come tonight and I see all of them out of these tubes, then guaranteed they will survive. They should survive because they have the courage to actually walk out of these things. So they probably have the energy to survive as well. As for that guy, hmm, this is the first death I've ever got from this seller. I'll just let him know. But I mean, his packaging is superb. You guys saw, right? Heck of a lot of newspapers, a nice sturdy box. And then he has this... Um, sushi box which is with these vegetable thingies these fruit netting thingies which was surrounded with cotton um paper cotton thingy and then covered in tin foil so yeah his packaging is top notch so nothing to complain there i think this one was just unfortunate but that's fine let me just get this mold out so this tea is able to walk out sorry you can't see dang it <laughs> let me just yeah this tongue is a little bit too big but it's fine sorry dude there we go i've got your mold out and you i hope you enjoy your new enclosure and i hope you guys have enjoyed this video i don't know what i'm going to be titling this video but i'm probably going to be titling it 
based on this tea? I don't know, probably, because this is my, actually my first sling death in postage, which is pretty unfortunate. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you liked it, be sure to thumbs it up. If you didn't, feel free to thumbs it down. Let me know in the comments if you have any experience with these Heterotelli, Heterotelli, am I saying it right? Yeah, Velocella, Tanzanian chestnut baboons in a communal setup. I've had one before in an individual setup, but then it became a matured male and then, yeah, a lot of my teas are, oh my goodness, I better not leave this pin over here. Otherwise, I'm gonna step on it and I'm gonna scream and cry like a little girl. So. Yeah, like I was saying, I had that Tanzanian chestnut baboon and it passed away because it was mature meal. A lot of my teeth, I'm so, I'm, I'm like the guy with bad luck because a lot of my teeth become mature males and then they just die super quickly. <laughs> so yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care and as always, peace.